Good morning, everybody. It is a little after 8 a.m. on Tuesday, October 18th. Um, getting ready to run over, uh, not run over, to, to go over to Jackson Brown Studio and meet with, with Jackson. I've got, got some request stuff, and I'm going to talk to him about it. And uh, it's, it's, it'll be a fun day. Then I go to a meeting with Fred, our uh, group's manager, and then I'm heading off to uh, see Ed Begley Jr. So it's a it's a full day, and then I'm going to come home and take care of some stuff around the yard when it's a nice late afternoon. So busy day. Things are healing. Hand is getting better. I'm going to start playing again, I think, tonight and just see how things are going. But it's definitely... Uh, on uh, improving now, thank goodness. Um, I might still wear my compression um, glove today um, just to make it extra safe, and I still have my, my brace, so I might do that. <clears throat> I really, it was fun yesterday um, visiting the, uh, the Muppet movie, uh, Muppets Most Wanted, that we did with Brett McKenzie. And uh, so I thought I'd play a couple more tracks from that today. Just it's fun stuff to, to hear and to hear all these, uh, these different artists on here. Um, what do we got today? I think uh, I'm doing a thing. The first one uh, I'm going to do is Ricky Gervais uh, singing on this as Constantine. And uh, let me pull, pull this one up. Um, I believe this is it. Um, it is such a fun project. We cut the our, the basic tracks were all cut at uh, United Studios in the big room, big room A, um, down uh, on Sunset Boulevard. And again, every time I walk in that studio, um, I time travel because that's the, the same room that we did our group therapy record in in 1967. And the Wrecking Crew was the musicians on our on our album because we were too young and inexperienced to at that point to play on our record. We could have probably done it, but not in the timely fashion and the the creativity that they brought to the table. Um, and again, I've talked about this in the past, but to be sitting as a young kid looking through the window at Hal Blaine and Carol Kay and Bobby West, Jim Gordon. Um, Mike Melvoin, Mike Rubini, um, Larry Nectel, Tommy Tedesco, Al Capps. Um, uh, God, who, who else was on that? Dennis Budimir. Um, God, there were so many. I mean, it was an orchestra. Uh, it was an incredible experience. It, was, it definitely set my... Uh, um, it, it didn't set my path, but it certainly made it uh, uh, appear that... Uh, Maybe someday, but it certainly didn't feel possible at that point because um, these people were such pros and we were just a bunch of punk kids. Um, but three years later, I was working with all of these folks on a daily basis. I was fortunate enough to have come along at a time <clears throat> where I was part of the transition from the wrecking crew on to the next group of players. Um, but there was a, an overlap with all that. So I got to work with all of those people, you know, worked a lot with Hal, worked with Jim Gordon and, and Mike Melvoin and Larry Nectel and Tommy uh, and Budimir and all these guys. I mean, it was a remarkable time. So every time I've done a project where I walk into them, that's the same room we did um, uh, Larry Basilio's album in just recently. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just play these couple of things, and then I'm going to head down to uh, Santa Monica to see Jackson. So uh, it's going to be a, be a fun day. So this one is called I'm Number One, and uh, this is with Ricky Gervais as Constantine. I'm number one. You're number two. We're I'll talk a bit so I, don't get, so I don't get bumped. You it worked I'm yesterday. One. You're number two. I believe in equality as long as you get less than me. I'm one. You're one. You're number two. Two. I'm number two. You may think that you're smarter, but I'm smarter than you. I'm number one. You're number two. You're lucky to be number two, not number three. I can see by the look in your eyes. This is so much fun. 
fun to do. He's number one. number one. You know life's gone to the dogs when your boss is a frog. Well, I can see it's just a matter of time before he's gone and I'm at the front of the line. It won't be long till I get my chance, but in the meantime, I've got to dance, monkey dance. It's so much fun when we're doing these because we have no idea where things are headed, you know, once all the vocals are on because we're cutting it. Um, Brett McKenzie um, would sing the songs to us for the, for the basic tracking, but you know, then we finally hear it and you kind of go, oh, wow, this is pretty, pretty cool. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can get credit on that. Hold on. So the Constantine character is Matt Vogel on that, who's singing with Ricky Gervais. Uh, the only thing that really kind of saddens me when I look at this um, as it's going on was when I looked at the credits and Dave Bianco engineered all of our, our uh, basic rhythm section dates. Uh, Dave was such a great engineer, such a great guy, and he had a really great little, little funky studio um, called Dave's Room. And that's where we were working with Judith Owen on that. And, and Dave passed away. We were right in the middle of working with on a, one of Judith's projects and we got word um, that he, he had passed. And it was like, every time I see his name, it just saddens me because he was such a good, good cat and uh, such a great engineer. We'd done so many projects over the years and it really came quite unexpected. But, uh, They've, they've kept the studio running and everything. And, and I think Judith was there on Sunday doing a little bit of work on a new project, um, doing some overdubs. So, you know, it's his memory lives on. But uh, do miss Dave, man. He was one special cat. Um, this is something called Something So Right. Uh, let me see if there's, see what kind of credits we got on this one. Something So Right. Uh, da -da -da -da. We've got Celine Dion on this one with Miss Piggy Kermit and the Muppets whole team. So here we go. Let me. There's so many people that they get in to do these movies. It's really pretty fantastic. Okay, something so right. Piggy, no. I've waited so patiently. I knew you were the 
hunt him down and start a family. Half a mini you and a mini me. A little pink frog and a little green piggy. They'll learn to say hello and say goodbye. We'll grow gray and old and live the fine life. Just you and I. So good, let me feel so bad. Got to make it coming through, let me love it. Welcome the happiest day of my life, it's so sad. I feel the high when I feel so low. After all we've been through, after coming here so far. Is this this boy got to leave. And Miss Piggy is Eric Jacobson. <laughs> so, um, they're, they're fun. Now, what, a, what a collection of characters uh, when you're dealing with the, uh, the Muppets. Um, that's one of the fun things about when we still work on it at old A&M Studios, the Henson Studios. And there's like where there used to be a Charlie Chaplin because it was originally the Charlie Chaplin Studios back uh, in the, in the early days of the last century, um, and then they had Charlie Chaplin a uh, statue of him on top. And now that it's Henson, there's a uh, statue of Kermit on the top of it, kind of dressed Chaplin-esque on it. But the uh, the history there. But every time I walk on that lot, I just kind of go, Yeah, this place is so cool. What what's been made there over the years is something special. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get running. This is a quickie. Um, but that's it for that. I, I, was, I was looking up because I was talking yesterday about Space Jam, which we did the soundtrack to that with James Newton Howard. And there's a whole bunch of like different, like people like Seal and stuff that have songs that were placed in the movie. And that's all I can seem to find. I can't find any of the inner score um, from Space Jam of all the stuff that James Newton Howard wrote that was very much in the uh, the, the flavor of Carl Stalling, who was the composer on all the original Warner Brothers cartoons. There's some amazing things. You can find them on YouTube, and there's albums of the scoring dates of those cartoons with Carl Stalling. And it is, it's probably would be some of the hardest reading you ever would have to do as a musician because it's all about the cartoon. It's not really songs, and the amount of stuff going on uh, is just unbelievable. I mean, we sat and listened to it and just went, holy crap. I mean, his mind as a composer for, for that medium was unlike anybody else. I mean, I've had the joy of working with people like Alf Clausen when we did Alf and different shows like that, but man, this guy was just something super special. So I'm going to go feed the puppies and then I am going to hit the road and jump into... Sh shitty LA traffic because <sighs> it's all the way across town to see Jackson and then have lunch and then come back through the valley and see Ed so um, a busy day I uh, wish you all the best on your day um, God, it's just still dripping a little bit here um, some scar tissue and stuff it's weird that this half of my lip on the inside 
is still like twice the size of that side. It's still swollen from all the stitching and stuff that went in. So like when I'm drinking, I'm using a straw and all of a sudden dribbling a little bit, but, uh, but healing. Um, so you take good care. I will be back tomorrow and, um, and just wish everybody a wonderful day and uh, let's enjoy the last couple of Muppets tunes there. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.